Would you like to ride an Amtrak train around the beautiful state of California? There are several trains that can take you to different areas of the Golden State, depending on what kind of adventure you're looking for. This video is a guide to all the Amtrak trains you can ride within California or to and from California and other states. In total, there are eight Amtrak routes that serve various parts of California. First, I'll go over the ones that operate only within the state, then look at the ones that extend outside California. Then I'll talk about Amtrak ticket prices and life on board, including seats, sleeping accommodations, food, and stuff like that. The three Amtrak trains that operate only in California are the Capital Corridor, the San Joaquins, and the Pacific Surfliner. The Capital Corridor runs between Auburn and San Jose, stopping at a total of 17 stations. The portion between Sacramento and Oakland has several trains per day. About half of those also extend to and from San Jose, and only one train per day in each direction goes beyond Sacramento to Auburn. If you want to ride the entire four-hour route without a transfer, there's one morning train from Auburn and one evening train from San Jose that go the distance, but only on Saturdays and Sundays. Otherwise, you'll need to transfer to ride the whole line. Not only is Capital Corridor a good way to get around the Sacramento and Oakland area, but it's a nice ride anyway, moving through cheerful little towns and especially some gorgeous portions that skirt along the edges of the bays. Note that no Amtrak train goes directly to San Francisco, but riders can use Emeryville Station and take a connecting bus across San Francisco Bay. The San Joaquin service goes from both Sacramento and Oakland down to Bakersfield. The two northern branches meet, or wave goodbye, at Stockton. The San Joaquins go through California's beautiful Central Valley, with views of huge fertile fields and groves, the sun-baked towns of Central California, and of course the dramatic mountains off to the east. From Oakland to Bakersfield, it takes about 7 hours and hits 16 stations. From Sacramento, it takes 5.5 hours and 13 stations, and the portion just between Stockton and Bakersfield is 4.5 hours. Over half of all passengers who ride the San Joaquins also use the network of connecting buses, the green lines here, which lead to other destinations, including Yosemite National Park, Reno and Las Vegas, and the Amtrak station in Los Angeles. The Pacific Surfliner runs between San Diego and San Luis Obispo and stops at 25 stations. For much of its length, this spectacular train runs right along the coast and offers majestic scenery. Several trains per day run between Los Angeles and San Diego, which takes three hours. A few go further north, to and from Goleta, and only one or two per day, depending on if you're north or southbound, go all the way to San Luis Obispo. The entire unbroken trip lasts about nine hours. All three of these California-only trains offer coach seating, and only the Pacific Surfliner also has business class seats, which cost a bit more. There are no sleeper cars, since the trains only run in the daytime. There is cafe service aboard each of them, but no full meals in a dining car. Bicycles are allowed on all of these trains. Five other Amtrak services pass through California as part of longer routes across America. They lead to Chicago, New Orleans, and Seattle, plus dozens of stations in between. To get between Los Angeles and Chicago, you can take either the Southwest Chief or the Texas Eagle. The Southwest Chief takes you through the famous scenery of the magical desert Southwest. As Amtrak's own website poetically points out, carving through curving canyon passages only a few feet wider than the train itself, you'll see spectacular landscapes and pristine vistas not visible from interstate highways. It takes about 43 hours to do the entire trip and visit all 31 stations through those canyons and across the Midwest, so you'll spend two nights aboard the train. The other option between LA and Chicago is the Texas Eagle. Three days a week in each direction it goes through Texas and the Midwest without a transfer. On the other days, you'll need to change at San Antonio. The unbroken trip lasts 62 hours and stops at 43 stations. That includes three nights aboard the train. Another train, the California Zephyr, runs from San Francisco, actually Emeryville, to Chicago. It's known for its beautiful views as it passes through the Rocky Mountains. The California Zephyr is a daily service, taking about 52 hours and 33 stations over two nights. The Sunset Limited links New Orleans and Los Angeles, taking 46 hours, 20 stations, and two nights. It only runs three times a week in either direction, and before Hurricane Katrina it stretched all the way to Florida. From this train, you'll see not only the wide-sweeping desert vistas of Texas and the southern part of the U.S., but pass through the bayou country of Louisiana and by the scenic mountains of Southern California. 
Finally, you can also travel by train between LA and Seattle on the Coast Starlight. The Coast Starlight operates once per day in each direction and takes 34 hours. You'll spend one night on board if you do the whole thing. Along the way, you'll go along the California coast and move through mesmerizing forests to reach the snowy Cascades in the Pacific Northwest. All five of the longer Amtrak trains that serve California have sleeper cars as well as coach seats, but no business class seats. Each train has three different types of bedrooms accommodating two, three, or four passengers, depending on whether they're adults or kids, plus a fourth type for two people that's big enough for a wheelchair. Superliner bedrooms have private shower and toilet facilities in the room. All other passengers can use shared bathrooms and showers down the hall. A larger suite created by removing the wall between two bedrooms can be arranged as well and, according to Amtrak, is good for four to six people. Prices can change. Note that seats are pretty cheap, but bedrooms are significantly more expensive. As an example of Amtrak prices, let's look on Amtrak's website for the Southwest Chief between LA and Chicago on one specific day about a month from now. As of the time I'm making this video, the cheapest fare is $146 per person one way. That's for a coach seat. You can pay more for that same seat and have different levels of flexibility in changing or canceling later. For sleeping accommodations, you pay one price for the whole room and then each person pays a fare. Right now, the fare for each adult staying in a room is $232. Children 12 and under are half that. So you add them up, then you add the one room price which right now is $372 for the Superliner roomette, $1,010 for the family bedroom, and $1,472 for the Superliner bedroom. Prices can change a lot depending on the date you want to travel and how far in advance you book. For specifics, you need to check the website yourself with your real dates and everything, but this is basically how it'll work. Note that you can't just stuff 10 people in a single room. You can't do it physically, and you can't do it per Amtrak's rules. But nice try. Anyway, I can tell you from personal experience, on the long distance trains, the coach seats are nice enough, but it's excellent to have a bed to lay down in while the train is gently rocking through the quiet night. Again, the three shorter California-only trains don't have sleeper accommodations, nor, by the way, observation cars, and they don't offer full meal service. The five national trains do offer all of these. If you buy any sleeping accommodations at all on the longer trains, all breakfasts, lunches, and dinners are included, though cafe food is extra. So if you're traveling in a coach seat, you'll have to pay extra for meals. All eight California Amtrak trains have the cafe, where you can get simple drinks and snacks and sit at a table by the window. Whichever Amtrak train in California suits your needs, schedule, and budget, I think you'll have a blast. Remember that the schedules and prices can and do change, so watch Amtrak's website. Also, there are often delays, and the average trip time is longer than the scheduled times. But on all of California's Amtrak trains, the food is good, the people are warm, the views are absorbing, and the journey is a relaxing adventure. We're lucky that in the modern world there's still a way to move across the American landscape in a steady, rhythmic way and just sit and watch and let it all in. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos for travel tips, stories from my own travels, and my experiences as a type 1 diabetic wanderer. See you on the rails.